We are going to see who's tough enough to become a WWE superstar. I am the female trainer on the show, and I'm going to come from the perspective of, you know, I have a little bit of experience. I have like, oh, let me just see them. I always forget the number, but it's seven world championships. For someone who, you know, a young kid, one of these contestants, coming in saying, I want to be a WWE superstar. So it takes a lot of stuff that um, we're going to show them every little step, and we're here to guide them. It's not about me anymore. It's about the next generation of uh, sports entertainers. And for these guys to get into it this way, have a, a mansion to live in with all the extremities around it, um, we, we, we're going to make them work for it. These kids are going to have to impress the most and get through to get to the next level is Bill DeMott. I'm the bully of the bunch. You're going to see kids break down. You're going to see them heartfelt. And then you're going to see the, the connivers, the ones that are here for that 15 minutes of fame. And then that's when you're going to see who we are. A WWE superstar is a multifaceted person. So it's like there's theatrics, there's athletics. It's really an interesting combination. Listen, as a diva, you got to do photo shoots. But at the same time, you got to show your butt, but you also got to kick some butt. If Canada get online, but with me, you know, I'm known for, you know, whooping somebody's ass. If I have to, you know, smack one of them, I'm going to smack them. You know, um, I'll challenge them to take me down. I even, you know, give them the first shot, you know what I mean? But it's going to be hell to pay after that. What the viewers are going to see is real to see kids break down and see the physicality that goes on mentally, emotionally, and there's head games. There, there's going to be some tests, but to me, that's that's good stuff. My thing is, you got to know how to keep them up and keep them going, especially in something like this, because they could fall, and um, a lot of times when they fall, they just don't get up, so and we don't want to do that to them. Are you the next Stone Cold? Are you the next guy to rise to the occasion? We're looking for the one who wants to go beyond it. We need leaders. And it's hard. Everyone wants to watch Stone Cold Steve Austin just to see what he's going to say next. So, you know, there's those moments where Stone Cold Steve Austin gets pissed off. Ooh, that's some good TV.